So the next scholarship that I'm going to talk about is Namaste India. So this is uh, specific to all the Indian candidates. Uh, it would provide you uh, with master's program, but only at the University of Gottingen. So there is a collaboration. Um, I would take you to the website. So this is the homepage of. Uh, if you click to the, if you click the link, uh, you will get here. So this is the homepage of uh, Namaste Plus, um, uh, Namaste India Scholarship Program. That's a collaboration between Gottingen and uh, Indian Higher Education Corporation. So currently, might be due to pandemic uh, situation, the application process or the calls of for the applications might be closed. But uh, definitely keep an eye on this, and uh, it could provide you with um, with a scholarship program. So I think the calls are closed for now. So current calls are closed. The selection criteria. So, but still you can read everything and you should be prepared. So the documents that I required are pretty much the same everywhere. You would need all the standard documents. You might have a look on my one of my previous videos where I talked about the uh, the most important documents for a PhD application. So the most important point to note here is this. In order to apply for this type of scholarship, um, you should uh, have contacted a researcher or a professor from the host institute and they should be willing to welcome you to their research group. So you have to contact to the, to the professor and uh, if he is willing to, um, to host you. Uh, to supervise you throughout your duration then you can apply in this uh, for this fellowship they will just provide you funding it's similar to bringing your own funding with you uh, but you have to uh, give them a project proposal and everything uh, you can read about the faqs and i think pretty much you will not have any confusion so what are the academic records the application process and what do you need to do and everything so it's pretty much listed everything here okay so the next scholarship that i'll be talking about is uh, berlin mathematical school so this is a completely funded master's program with the possibility to do a phd in any of the three universities of berlin and it's only limited to mathematics uh, candidates so let's go to the link So uh, this is the homepage of the Berlin Mathematical School. Let me zoom in. Okay, so um, again, you must explore their website. This is their official website. If you go to the application site, um, this is all the information that you will need. And the best part is that at the time when this video is released, there, the application process is yet to open in the next one or two months. So you can see that they will have for the year 2022, the application portal will open soon and currently it's open. So from 15th September to 1st of December is the first round and from 1st March to um, 1st April, uh, it's the second round. So currently the first round applications are open and uh, so this is the deadlines. 1st December 2021 is the deadline and 1st April 2022 is the is the deadline. So in case you, you do not make it in the first round, you can also apply to the second round. You still have time to prepare your applications. And uh, this is the timing. So one more important thing, whenever you are looking for the, these types of applications that are in European countries, you must see the timings. So 1st December and 1st April, the timing is uh, 2359 hours. So what it means is that uh, in India, it would be plus three and a half hours. At midnight, 12, uh, the applications will be closed in European time. So you should uh, know the time difference basically. Uh, if you are submitting at the last moment, although I would not recommend it, I would recommend submitting your application well before the closing date because because what happens is that in in these types of application processes 
submitting at the last date is always risky because at the last date many students are submitting their application and the server might crash and if that happens then you cannot blame them also uh, but you might miss the the deadline timing so it's always better to have everything prepared in advance and then submit your application um, so they have two types of uh, the projects or funding so bms phd application and the math plus uh, projects i think this is relatively newer so they would fund new projects starting in 2022 and uh, here is the list of all the available projects if you click on it it's a pdf uh, just download it and you would uh, know what's what type of positions they provide so math power drug design it's a very interesting topic so you can read about it what what are they asking for so it's a very nice project who who are from have some knowledge in the biological background but also want to enter into 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 mathematical field so very nice project and uh, here this is another project development of ion channel model framework and so on i mean you can read on it what what the project is about and if you are a good fit for it or not um okay the next is the requirements so it's standard documents that you need and uh, yeah these are the guidelines for the bms phd application uh, i won't open this but you you if you are if you are applying in this you must read everything uh, they also require one of the TOEFL, IELTS or CAE exams. These are all English proficiency exams. Um, now uh, they do not, they won't ask you to send the hard copy, rather they would just ask you for the code. So for example in TOEFL, they have, you, you will get in your TOEFL certificate a code. Uh, if you just send them that, then they can check it, check your score uh, on their own. Um, yeah. And basically, in order to uh, this apply for this BMS form, you have to go to this registration link and then register yourself and then start applying in the BMS online application portal. So, yeah, you once you registered, you would get an username and password. Then there is the online form where you can fill up your application. Okay, so that was it. But do explore the website so the student section and everything read about the home page i think the call for okay the postdoc fellowships are also open right now um yeah it's also december 1st 2021 um yeah so moving on to the next fellowship so this is bonn uh, cologne graduate school and bonn international graduate school another fellowship uh, fully funded master's programs in the field of physics and mathematics with the possibility to do a PhD and these type of fellowships are always really nice so once you are finished with, with your master's program you do not have to waste your time again to find a PhD usually what happens is that um, the lab from which you completed your master's program the supervisor will usually take you in uh, for for the phd program and this saves a lot of hassle and you know time so let's have a look so uh this is the home page um, of the bonn and cologne graduate school so this is basically a association between two uh, universities bonn and cologne um, you can read about everything so the bonn cologne um, let me zoom in a bit um, so the Bonn Cologne Graduate School for Physics and Astronomy uh, BCGS is a joint program of graduate studies between universities of Bonn and Cologne and uh, they provide MSc degrees and also PhD, degree, PhD uh, studies so if you scroll down um, it's a lot to read but they provide uh, master's degrees, other scholarship programs and everything. Um, so what you need for the master's degree, all the requirements and uh, the best thing is everything will be in English. So for the Indian students um, and the non-German uh, speaking uh, 
uh, students it's really a nice option and uh, for the PhD students so if you already have a master's degree then you would get admitted into the PhD program but of course you would have to go through the whole uh, selection process um, and you can read about the scholarship program and financial support basically it would cover all the living cost and the tuition fees and everything um, what type of research is there is happening and it's a it's just a lot to read so i i won't i i don't need to answer all these questions because everything is listed here if you go through these then you would uh, know what's what's going on and um, yeah these are all the list of professors or um, scientists that will be helping you out um, yeah, these are the funding options. So let's say for the master students, you will get a scholarship of 860 euro per month for the first year. And for the second year, the scholarship will be reduced to 430 euros per month. Now this might sound strange, but it's not, it's quite usual. So what happens is that you would get a side job as a teaching assistant. And from there you would earn 430 euros. So it basically sums up to 860 euros or it depends on what type of side job you get so you might get even paid more in the side job and uh, yeah it's basically simple lab work and uh, some teaching jobs and helping the professor basically and for the PhD students the funding is E13 TVL that's standard level and uh, the net income is 1100 euros so by net income they what they mean is that the gross salary would be much higher but uh, after deduction of all the types of taxes uh, you would get in hand 1100 euros which is quite standard uh, also for these types of fellowships then uh, for the housing and other practical issues they also list the housing uh, prices and uh, uh, for example the organization that you have to con uh, consult is called student and work also called the student service organization so these people are related to the universities and they help the international students to find housing in um, in uh, reasonable prices so in bond the cost of rent per month is could range between 190 to 400 euros and in Cologne, it would range in between 140 to 350 euros, which is quite nice. And the overall cost of living would be close to 700 euros. If you want to know the whole cost of living, how how you you manage your finances, you can have a look at my previous video um, where I talk about all this topic in detail. Um, yeah, and that's it. Basically, you should read everything and you would not have any doubts but still if you have any write down in the comment section below um, these are the participation in participating institutes and their contacts and yeah that's basically it so uh, let's go on, the, on to the next one um, yeah this is also in Bonn let's have a look uh, so this is a slight different program uh, Bonn International Graduate School of Mathematics and this was the Bonn Cologne Graduate School so this is more of a collaboration um, type of scholarship but this is just provided by the Bonn um, International Graduate School so you can see in the PhD studies what 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 are the things so the standard duration of the PhD studies uh, is three years uh, everywhere and if you don't manage to finish your PhD in three years you get some extension um, and what are the funding possibilities so you get family allowance if you have are bringing with a family oh here the they provide nice fellowship for a select group of 25 PhD students um, you get 1700 euros per month that's pretty nice and uh, this will be awarded for three years and uh, this i mean they uh, they are allowing it for only 25 PhD students so obviously there would be some type of extra selection criterion and also if you have fellowship from dard graduate sc uh, sc uh, scholarship school of scholarship then also they uh, welcome you 
I mean, if you are bringing your own money, then who would not welcome you? Basically, um, this is uh, International Max Planck uh, Research School. They also provide fellowships. Um, yeah, guys, just read through it, and you will know what what it's about. I won't go into too much depth. Okay, moving on to the next. So, the Max Planck Graduate School. This is a very competitive and very um, interesting fellowship that's in Germany. So Max Planck is a German research institute and uh, they provide basically I think in all the subjects uh, that you would find. So let's have a look. So this is the homepage. So firstly, uh, there are a lot of different types of Max Planck institutes. So according to your area of interest, whether you are interested in like i don't know computer science or medicine or uh, some more different specific fields there are institutes all over the germany and you can select so astronomy and physics com uh, astronomy and comic physics again so a lot of astrophysics institutes molecular biology this is a very nice one then biology and computation this is in berlin I think I applied in this one only. Um, yeah, the thing is, the you have to go to the these individual um, to their websites, and there you would find the application dates. So it would be different for for every uh, research institute. So that's great. The current application portal is open. So up till seventh January twenty twenty two, and this is Max Planck Institute for Molecular Genetics. Uh, here are the available PhD projects. What you need is a letter of motivation, an indication of the group of uh, which group you would like to work with, um, a formal CV, your certificates. It's pretty standard. The names of two willing referees. Now, whenever you you get the reference letter from your referees. Uh, make sure you get it on the university or the institute letterhead. It's really important. I mentioned everything this the, about the documents in my one of my previous videos and a research proposal. So 7th February 2022 is the deadline. So just what, what I would do is that make a list of institutes in which you are interested to apply. Then make uh, the, the deadlines. Uh, of each institute and then just start applying uh, I think you have plenty of time still so yeah um, if you want to have a look at the available positions so these are the available positions and also the the supervising um, uh, scientist of these positions like um, yeah just have a look and I think if you you just have to read a lot it's and you would understand what's going on here and what do they need so this is a very interesting i think most of the applications are opening uh, now from october to february is the whole application period so i think by the time you would see this video it's already the application all the application portals are open right now so just read and start up your applications okay uh, so that's it from my side in this video. Um, I hope you learned something from this. Uh, even when I was starting to apply uh, back in 2019, I also did not knew about many of the, the, the positions that I talked about. So all the positions and the links are down in the description. So you can um, go and read on it. So there is no shortcut way, you just have to apply. Uh, you just have to read and uh, you would know everything what's what's required pretty much if you liked my videos um, and found them informative please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the thumbs up button if you uh, like this video and that really helps with the youtube algorithm uh, it would also motivate me to keep bringing such informative videos with to you guys stay tuned and see you next time bye bye